Okay, Broski Nation, do I have a treat, a little snacky for you today. Wow. Today we're peering into the inner machinations of my mind. Something that not a lot of people will show you, akin to almost like a childhood trauma journal, their therapist notes. That's gonna be someone's YouTube favorites, okay? I don't know if anyone even like has YouTube favorites anymore. I don't know if maybe I'm the only person in the history of forever to utilize said feature on youtube.gov, but I have been curating my favorite YouTube videos since I was in the womb. So I think today I wanted to share that with you guys because what else do I have to lose? I've shown you my Wattpad favorites. I've shown you my AO3 Rex. I've shown you my fucking Tumblr. You've seen it all. Nothing will really shock you. Today I'm hoping to kind of go through because I've been on YouTube for so long, not making videos, but like watching, like I've watched more YouTube than television in my life. So like, I'm hoping to go back and find Jack Scap, British YouTuber Invasion, Shane Dawson. <laughs> That was a joke. We're gonna see what we find. I am ready to be humiliated. So let's go ahead and do it. The Brittany Broski account has not always been my main account. So we're gonna go back on my childhood, my childhood server. <laughs> So let's do it. Thank you to the sponsor of today's video, ThreadUp. ThreadUp is the largest online thrift and consignment store, inspiring the world to think secondhand first. Everyone loves thrifting and everyone loves online shopping. Imagine a world where the two are blended and imagine a shopping experience where you can get premium to high-end quality items for a better price than new. You can get amazing deals on your favorite brands and styles so you can start building your dream wardrobe. I picked a bunch of stuff out and I wanna show you guys, okay? I'm currently wearing a fit, let me go ahead and walk you through it. Here's the fit. We're going for a cow girl. This Ellen Tracy scarf, originally $93, got it for $25.99. Moto skirt, originally $74, got it for $16.99. Old Navy Henley, originally $29, got it for $15.99. Next up, this earthbound top, originally $62, got it for $17.99. And y'all know I love a fuzzy hat. This Preston and York fuzzy hat, originally $56, got it for $17.99. <sighs> If you like any of the stuff I picked, I favorited a bunch more over on my ThreadUp account, which you can go browse and shop. Here's a little taste tester for all you that doubt me. Build your dream closet and more by shopping sustainably on ThreadUp. You know, I got a code for you. Use my code BRITTANYB to get 35% off your first order plus free shipping. Thank you to ThreadUp for sponsoring this video. Let's get back into it. Okay, 740 views last updated on March 24th. What was I doing on March 24th? Sort, they added all this. Should we do that? <laughs> my soul really quickly. I loved Fred. And when I mean I loved Fred, I mean I thought I was going to marry him. I was probably 10, 11 years old. I used to email Fred and say, Fred, I am such a big fan of you and the squirrels because he used to call his Pomeranian dogs his squirrels. I was like the Fred Fangirl. Hot Topic dude used to sell a Fred Figglehorn t-shirt. I wore that shit until it smelled like pickles. <laughs> I'm not joking. That shit smelled so bad. Oh my God. Okay, let's do it. This is the first ever video I added to my YouTube favorites. Watch your boy do his thing. <laughs> I'm not feeling great about this. This is the first fucking video. He's got a verse on this, by the way. Fred has a verse on this song. Don't call me G, it's F-R-E-D. Don't call my Tanner Fred. The party will begin. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Ah! No! What the fuck? 15 years ago, oh my God, am I the oldest woman alive? Like your meds gone. Dance like your meds gone? Cause the whole shtick of Fred Ficklehorn is that he flushed his meds down the toilet. What was I watching as a child? Also the girls in this video, I'm obsessed. Wash, 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 like period. Wash, wash, do this. <laughs> okay, let's move on to the other 17 Fred videos I have fucking liked. Never mind, I guess no one is. This was, oh my God. Genuinely, oh my God. When me and Stanley 
were talking about this idea, I was like, this video is genuinely like, I'm going to have a visceral reaction because I have seen so many of these videos so many times, but I haven't seen them in probably 10 years, more than that. Oh my God. When he used to come and do these Justin Duck TV lives and talk in his real deep voice, I was like, that's my man. Now he's gay. Shout out. Yeah, the Oscars are on right now on channel seven where I live. Like I today as a grown adult woman, there there were signs, okay? And I'm, I was young and in love. I think every woman has to go through the heartbreak of the man they like being gay. Maybe that was just a me thing. I went through that multiple times. It was kind of boring. I used to watch this and be like, that's my, okay. Let's, if no one's ever actually seen a Fred video, let me go ahead and explain. Fred was a teenage boy who used to act like uh, a suggested sort of little boy off of his meds and uh, his mom used to beat him, question mark. And that was the character. And he would take his voice and pitch it up and act like a little boy. So that was the character. And it got him a movie, a record deal, <laughs> A Kev Blaze feature. I. He was on iCarly. Now I'm in my front yard. There's my mom's car right there. That's my mom's car. It's, if you're wondering why I'm not inside right now, it's the wind. Okay, we need to move on from Fred, Fred Fogelhorn. They're bombs. They're down right. <laughs> I used to genuine like this is okay. David after Dennis. This is a classic. This is like one of the original viral YouTube videos. Like when viral actually meant something. 142 million views. For reference, this is a kid who just got his teeth out. Okay. For reference, this is a kid on dope. Stay in your seat. <laughs> a classic, a true classic. Oh my God. Okay, so after this, I went ahead and added Miley Cyrus outfits heart to my YouTube favorites. Just like, if I could go back. I mean, it's jeans and Converse and a black tank top, but in my mind, I was like, how is she pulling this off? A stylist, a designer. This is fashion to which the likes of I've never seen. This is fashion elevated. This is fashion only a runway could really produce. The Uggs, Icon. Icon, this was peak Miley too. I literally, and guess I was too fat to shop at Victoria's Secret. Why, what's wrong? I could never fit into the Miley Cyrus shit, dude. I tried to get my hair cut just like her when she had this gorgeous auburn color. Oh, it just, it never worked out the way that you wanted it to. This was around the time the Hannah Montana movie, okay? When she was looking right. She was an icon. Those skinny little necklaces she used to wear too. God, no one. And then she dropped that, holy shit. Miley Cyrus clothing line, Walmart, 2009. Max Azria. Oh my God. I wore this blouse right here until the fucking seams gave out. You just, you had to be there. This is a different time. I had this top as well. This one actually went ahead and had the jewelry attached to the t-shirt. Impossible to clean. Gorgeous though. Just really gorgeous pieces. <laughs> Okay, what do you bitches know about Barats and Beretta? Anything? How's it going, buddy? Dave, that you? It is. Barats and Beretta were like some of the original sketch comedy on YouTube, and me and my cousin Bailey and Riley used to die over Barats and Beretta. So I named her Olympia. Oh, that's huh? ridiculous. Oh my god! Relax, relax, <laughs> Dave. It's all part of the training, you know. It's gonna be in the Olympics, right? <laughs> Yoink! Four years wasted. Excuse me. What? Oh, no! But by the year 2024 <laughs> or so, oh, here she comes. Oh, yeah, let her go around for another <laughs> round. It's good for her development, you know. Brad's a brother. Okay. Okay, now we're entering into the sort of, you know, beauty and makeup tutorial. <gasps> hey guys, I want to show you another hair. I have seen all of these videos so many times, but I haven't seen them in so long. Style that I like to do. Shout out to Sarah Sweetie 99. I wonder what she is doing nowadays. Just for those of you who would like some more ideas bobby pins to match your hair color let's see the look you watch all of them <laughs> i love this it's called it's just half down half up with a hairband i like this was revolutionary to me because at this time no one was doing makeup and hair tutorials so when i would find them i'd be like thank god for you it's like watching aphrodite it's like watching aphrodite teach you how to put on makeup nude from smashbox lipsticks and it is a cute Valentine's Day hairstyle. I mean, you you gotta just give it to her. Of course, Charlie the Unicorn. This shaped me fundamentally as a child. 
Hey, we found a map to Candy Mountain. Come with us, Charlie. Yeah, Charlie. Again, this was peak comedy to me. And did I have a Charlie the Unicorn t-shirt from Hot Topic? Yes, I did. Hot Topic went ahead and filled about 75% of my closet around this time. I had graphic t-shirts out the ass and I went to a magnet school so I couldn't even wear them. This is of course how Charlie the Unicorn concludes. It better be good. Yeah. yeah. Goodbye, Charlie. Yeah, goodbye, Charlie. Goodbye, what? Hello? Who is The that? Allegory of the Cave. Oh, uh, what happened? Oh, they took my freaking kidney. Changed lives. Got one line. That's the most random thing I've ever fucking heard by my kidney. Like, 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 favorite, favorite. Charlie, yeah, Charlie. Okay, now this is when I lived in Korea. Girls' Generation G. This song changed me. This is that, that they've got the Miley Cyrus Max Azria core going on here, okay? Colored skinny jeans with a graphic tee, way too much jewelry, and of course a matching sort of colorful accessory up here. And of course we'll probably have to mute this, but this video is so iconic. I wanted to be them so bad. Yes, dude. Oh, and they all had the lime colored shorts. When I lived in South Korea as a sixth grader, we were doing Girls' Generation, we were doing Wonder Girls. I loved 21. And then after I left South Korea, I think that was when, what was that song? The Ichima on the water squat. Skirt, skirt, skirt. What do you bitches know about Ichima? <laughs> she goes stupid. Ichima. Skirt, skirt, skirt. Oh. Never, never, never forget. It goes just stupid. It's so good. <laughs> okay, moving on. This video also changed me. Sitting on a toilet. Now, flush. <laughs> the funniest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Crank that soldier boy full. <laughs> and my favorites. You. I mean, okay, so we've got this, of course. I, you don't understand. There was a phase in my life where I was like, I could be a professional dancer. What's stopping me? Nothing's stopping me. I have the movements. I have the liquidity. I have the flow. I have, you know, some would say rhythm. As a 12 year old, I fully thought I could go on So You Think You Could Dance. Now, that was not in the future for me. That was not gonna be in the future. America's Best Dance Group? Cut. I was cut, okay? I never even uh, applied, but I knew I was gonna be cut because I was on YouTube as a 12 year old looking up jerkin the dance tutorial part one. Alright, yo, JRSBLA about to teach you how to jerk today. Alright, first we're gonna start off with the reject. Simple step, just a little forward. Backwards. Flamingo stamps. Backwards. I mean, look, like, now. Just rip my slippers. Just rip my slippers. Add, maybe you wanna add some. <laughs> just keep on moving these side to side. Yeah. Jerk, jerk, jerk. You bitches don't know anything about. Damn. <laughs> no, this is where I tapped out. This fit goes crazy. This is where I tapped out. Yeah, I can't do that. And then they would do this crazy spin around. There you go. Other leg. Let's see it full. I ain't got a front nor fake my position. If you bag it in your tacky tight jeans, what you missing? No, let me see the pin drop. like a squirrel. There we go. Damn. I double left savage. I rep tight jeans. So what? What's that used to blow my mind as a middle schooler. How the fuck did she do? I'd get down there, couldn't get back up, you know? Miley and Mandy show. So. Like I'm saying, y'all don't understand this era. This is way farther back than I thought I was gonna go. Like I was like, okay, we'll do 2014, 2015, 2016. This is like when I started watching YouTube. Folks, I got a little joke for y'all. Okay, I got a little joke for y'all. I wanted to be her so bad. And now there was this crazy beef that happened between Miley, Mandy, and Selena and Demi, and then somehow Taylor Swift was involved? I don't know. And then they used to make these like diss videos and then Ashley Tisdale was in on it one time and then there was like the Jonas Brothers. Oh my God, it was crazy. It was a lot. And they all used to make them on these little MacBook videos. And then everybody copied them, of course. Me and my cousins used to do this. Jason, um, wait, Jason can I loved them so much. Yes, kids can. Another Bratz and Bretta. This uh, just informed my humor. The yes, kids can. The show where learning is so crazy. We spell it with a K. Ow. Like, who are these kids, by the way? <laughs> now everybody do a silly dance. Good. Good. Mediocre. <laughs> Let's barrage ourselves with colors until somebody passes out. 
That's it. Keep your eyes wide open, even if you start to feel dizzy. <laughs> I thought that was like, again, this is laying the foundation for my sense of humor. Children revolt <laughs> in the middle of the seizure bit. Like, what the fuck are we talking about? This was in the middle of, again, I wanted to be a dancer. <laughs> I thought I was going to be a dancer. Versus, I was having a Christian phase. This was a local singer from the church I went to. Like, how was that a Christian song? Oh, this shit used to blow my mind. Classic, sodium acetate. If you don't have it, just get it. What is that, by the way? Like, me as a 12 year old watching my how to make crack on YouTube. How to make fucking helium bombs. How to make Molotov cocktails on YouTube. Like, what am I watching? Me being like, yeah, save this to my favorites. What? Oh my God, Bob's Beauty! Bob's Beauty! Oh. Oh. I love it. Oh, look, I'm still subscribed to Bob's Beauty. This she was so cute to me. For us slow maintenance girls. It only takes about a minute to prepare. She's Irish? I'm just now understanding. She's Irish. Easier not and when your hair is wet, it's easier to create. She was just like the girl to me. Oh my god, I used to be obsessed with this girl too, Lil Camo 93. It's so crazy going back to hey this guys, like. So today I'm gonna show you guys how I got this makeup look here. And it's a very natural school makeup. I literally was like, okay, and if I do this makeup, I look just like her. No, bro, she's just a beautiful girl. <laughs> I was like, it's not working! Why don't I look like her? Cause she just put mascara and chapstick on. That's why, girl! And as you can see, it's only a couple of shades darker than my skin. Which... I also was like, she's Australian. I like Cody Simpson. This will make me, he'll know that I watched Lil Camo 93's video, yes. Then he'll fall in love with me, yes. Okay, then I went. <laughs> I fucked up so bad. Hey everyone. Needed him. Needed Ian. Oh, and let it begin. So this is entering 2012. One Direction, Louis and Harry dancing. One Direction, Megamind. One Direction, behind the scenes, DJ Louis Thompson will be watching that. Beyonce, I care. When I tell you I've been writing for Beyonce for damn near 20 years, I'm not joking, bitch. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Funniest person in the house, I think, is Zayn. What's happening, Mr. Exterger? The funniest. <laughs> So person in the house would have to be I one direction her. because he always cracks a joke he puts a big smile on my face why did the mushroom go to the party i don't know why did the mushroom go to the party because he was a fun guy oh god <laughs> i just it's a joy that i can't explain i can't attempt to explain it i've seen this fucking video so many times Fine wheelchair Wheelchair. Teaching him how to cat daddy. Oh, if you you had to be there for it. You just had to be there for it. I've seen this video so many times I can't even count it. Okay, no, so this is actually when the RDJ face started. All my phases happen. I mean, it just goes on and on forever. I might do a part two to this. <laughs> I might do a part two to this because it just keeps going. I mean, we're barely into 2012 right now. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Loving you. And let me know if you enjoyed this because I have so much more. We'll talk to you on the next one. Peace and love. Once again, thank you to ThreadUp for sponsoring this video. You can use my code BRITTANYB to get 35% off your first purchase and free shipping. And go shop my favorites on ThreadUp.com.